my name's Des Harris. I'm a very keen gardener and I also garden at this lovely vegetable garden we got here at the Mount Community Association in Froome. Today I'm going to show you how to plant an apple tree. The apple tree we've got today is called a Lord Lambourne. So what I've already done here, I've got a, a stake which is 2.8 meters which is about eight foot and I banged it in about one and a half foot to make it quite firm. I've also dug a hole as you can see and the hole is, is wide enough to take the roots and in the hole I've put a mixture of good compost, it's good, it's Somerset waste compost from the Dimmer dump at Somerset in, in uh, near Castle Carey. I mixed that with some really good well rotted manure and I've also put some Mendip rock dust in it which comes from some uh, quarries, Wainwright's quarries up, at, uh, up on the Mendip. So it's a lovely juicy mixture which the tree I hope will flourish in. Okay you guys now I'm going to plant the tree. Here it is, lovely big tree about eight foot tall. It's got to be about three inches from the stake. Okay, now then, I want one of you to hold the tree, please. Hold it exactly as it is. That's it, two of you, that's lovely. Now what we do next, I'm gonna show you what to do. You really stamp in the roots like that. Now, can somebody else do that with wellies on, some good wellies, would you like to do that? You get in and stamp it down. Beautiful, give it a good old stamp, that's lovely. Right. Well done. Okay, you can come out now. The soil that I've taken out of the hole, I put on a piece of carpet. And it makes sense to do that. First of all, it's a lot easier to, to spade up like that. And it also doesn't get mixed in with the grass. We don't want it to get all muddy and mixed with the grass. So I'm going to take a few spade loads. I'm going to get one of you to do the same. Put some in that side. Some in that side. Right. I'd like somebody else to do that. Yeah. Would you like to have a go? There you go. That's the way. Get a bit closer, that's right. Okay, that'll do for the moment. Somebody like to stamp it a bit? Okay, I'll, I'll do the rest. Good. Got to be really firm. Okay, that's looking good. Now we're going to pour the rest in now. We don't need to spade it, if you can just get off the... You see, the carpet makes it really easy. Bits of old carpet are really useful. You can cap your compost heap with it, do lots of useful things with it. Now you'll notice that the hole isn't full. So what I'm going to do is to get some compost that I've got, some good old Somerset compost. I'm going to just fill it up with that. But I won't do that now. We're now going to do the tying. And this is very important. I want somebody to hold that tree. This tree is, is newly planted and a strong wind would, would rock it and, and loosen the roots, wouldn't it? So that's why we tie it to a good old, to good stake. And we'll keep the stake in probably for three or four years and then just take it out when it rots. Okay, now then, this is what we do. I'll kneel down, put this round the stake first, through that first hole, which is a, a wide hole, round the tree, and then through that other hole. Do you see? You've got the idea. Like could head. one of you, do you think, could one of you do the second one? Now, why don't you have a crack at that? Mm -hmm. 
if you didn't. That one? Yeah, that's right. Pull it right through, as far as it will go. It's a bit bumpy and difficult, but you'll do it. That's right. Pull that through. I think that'll be enough, actually. That'll be enough. And there we are. Now, there is just one little thing. There's a little branch here that's stuck against the, against the stake. I'm going to snip it off. Like that. So it's a bit more comfortable. Well done, kids. Brilliant work. And so later on, I'm just going to pile that up another three or four inches with Somerset compost. And that's the job. And we'll probably give it a water as well. I'm going to say one, two, three, and you're going to say, good luck, good fruiting. Okay? One, two, three. Good, good luck, luck and good fruiting. fruiting.